Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Tiffany Tiana. If this is your first time, I post home related content, sharing how I renovate, decorate, design, and organize my home. And if you are a return viewer, thank you so much for your continued support and welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I wanna share with you how I'm gonna organize my coffee and tea station. You all know I love to organize my spaces little by little, taking my time. I wanna make sure it's affordable, it makes sense, and it's functional and it's cute. Okay, so today we're gonna do that. I'm gonna haul a few items that I ordered for that project, um, super affordable, and then I'm gonna show you my before and after. Do not judge my before. If you are here to judge me, click off. Like it before you click off, but click off because don't be judging me, judge your mama, okay? That's why we're here, we're here to elevate the spaces, okay? So I'm gonna show you the before and after, take you along with that, and then share the products with you. All the products for my home are always linked in my description box. But before I get into that, I want to take a moment to share with you an amazing new product that I just received from Rest Duvet. The so Rest Duvet sent me their new product called the Ever Cool Cooling Comforter, and when I tell you guys this is a game changer, please believe me. So Rest aims to elevate elevate your bedding. You don't want boring bedding and rest doesn't want boring bedding for you either. So they look for ways to enhance that in the materials and technology that they use. And sleep is so important to your health and to your well-being. So invest in your comfort. Let me tell you more about the Evercool Cooling Comforter. So here it is, you guys. Oh my goodness. I wish that you could feel this. It literally feels like better than silk. Okay. I wish you guys could feel the texture of this. And it's really light, so that's what I love about it. It's not a heavy blanket. Um, and the fabric is very common in the high performance fabrics that you'll see in very luxury brands like Lululemon leggings. So this comforter is designed for hot sleeper and it is a summer bedding essential. Um, I also think it's good for year round because there are so many ways that I was able to enjoy this comforter throughout the week. You know, I did not want to come on here and just open the product for the first time and share my observations. I wanted to make sure I used it and found out if it meets its claims and if it doesn't. And I'm here to tell you it does. I do not like to be hot when I'm sleeping. So sleeping in this helps to keep my body cool, but I don't have to drop my temperature in my house so much so I can save money by not dropping my temperature down as much. My husband and I, we can compromise a little bit more because he hates <laughs> when I have the house too cold and I don't like to be too hot when I'm sleeping. So this allows us to compromise, okay? I can set it up a few degrees to please him and I'm not hot because I have my Evercool cooling comforter. Also, if you're like me, whenever I'm on the couch watching TV, reading a book, having a glass of wine, a hot cup of tea, whatever, I'm always under a blanket. Like I have my blanket basket in every room. And this is perfect because sometimes it's a little hot and I want something on me and I'm a little hot, but I'm comforted. With this ever cool cooling comforter, I don't have to compromise. So I'm on the couch, I have a blanket on me, and I feel good, I feel cool. And if you don't like to be cold, no worries. It's not the comforter itself that's cold, it's just the technology that keeps you cool if you're hot. So there's a temper regulating feeling inside the comforter that keeps you warm on cold nights as well. So no worries if you don't want to be too cold. So what they did to achieve this is they use the most cooling fabrics. Um, often you think about silk being very cooling, bamboo being very cooling. This fabric that they use is 2.4 times cooler than bamboo and 1.9 times cooler than silk. And then to top it all off, it's machine washable, y'all. What? Machine washable. So yes, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tiffany, like, how can I get one of these? No worries, all the information to the product is included in my description box. So make sure you check out my description box for more information on the Evercool Cooling Comforter. You can also save 20% by using my link, so make sure you click below and use that link to receive 20% off. I definitely encourage you to check out Rest Duvet's website and to click the link in the description box for 20% off. Okay, let's continue with the rest of the video and thank you to Rest Duvet for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, so before I take you guys over there to see the before for my coffee and tea station, I'm gonna haul the products. All of these products came from Amazon and my Amazon storefront is in the description box so I'll link all of these items there if you're interested in um, purchasing them. Um, so, no order in particular. First I got these, 
it's kind of hard to see because it's in the plastic. Let me take it off. It's um, these coffee spoon stirrers. They're gold. Okay, so now you can see them a little better. They're long stem gold. Very cute. So I got these for the coffee station. I also got these napkins right here. Um, just very simple white and gold because you all know that's the theme of my kitchen. Um, so got those. This here is um, a bamboo storage set that I got for my teas to organize my teas. I'm more of a coffee drinker, but I've been getting into teas a lot lately. Um, so, and I have a lot of teas over there. So definitely have them and I'm getting more and more of them. Here is the organization that I got for the coffee. So um, I use K-cups mostly, so that's gonna fit perfectly in these. And what I love about it is you can remove these vertical pieces so that you can create more space for something if you want. So for example, if I want to put the napkins in there, I can remove this one and create more space for larger items. Or if I have a lot of K-cups, I can leave it like this. So I really like that these, you can remove these and um, create space for what you wanna organize in here. So these did not come in a set. I just found them separately and they matched good enough for me. And then lastly, what I have right now is some honey sticks. So I also got this off of Amazon as well. So it's just a pack of honey sticks for the tea. Um, you put in your coffee too if you want to, but I thought that would be a very nice addition to have. And you know, I have guests a lot that prefer tea, so it's not gonna go to waste, and plus I'm getting more into teas as well. So let's get to organizing. Okay, so for anyone that hasn't seen it yet, this is kind of my coffee station area here. Um, <laughs> these are being washed. Normally there's more coffee mugs up here, so that's why it's kind of blank right now. They're in the dishwasher. And this is the coffee station up here. But what I'm doing today is focusing on organizing this drawer right here, which houses all of my coffee and tea. So as you can see, I have my K-cups, I have tea, tea, and then y'all, look at this. Why I got my keys like this? <laughs> That's, this is my tea organization right there. Um, and then this is kind of the reusable K-cup if um, you want to have buy the coffee grounds and pour them in there. So... Um, have that as well so we're organizing this space right here so first we're going to clean everything out and then we're going to reorganize things there
Okay, y'all, I'm all done. So here's what it looks like now. There we go. So I'll walk y'all through what I did and tell you about some changes I had to make. <laughs> um, so of course, before you order anything, make sure you measure your drawer. So I did that, of course. Uh, so that's how I knew that these would fit perfectly. Um, I did sacrifice one additional row for K cups um, because I wanted some space for my spoon. So I wish I had three uh, air, space for three, and I could. I could just move the napkins. Um, so I, I may play around with it and shift it. But I really like how it looks now. Um, so maybe I'll keep it like this. Not sure, but if I wanted to, I could have all five rows for K cups. For right now, I have two. And then I have like some additional ones back there. Um, a place for stirs. I already had this um, tea diffuser, so you can kind of put some loose tea in there. Um, so I just wanted to keep that. So there's that as well. Then I have some napkins over here. Um, back here are my teas, um, and it's um, space for six types of tea. Um, and then I have some additional tea over there that just wouldn't quite fit in here. So one thing about it is the teas are a little taller than I was anticipating. Um, let me see if it works better like this. It does. Okay, so I've switched them all over now, so now look, no stacks. So yeah, so my attention was to kind of see the names of them facing up like this, but um, I'm gonna turn them to the side. You can still, you know, see the names, so it's quite fine, but I prefer that than it's snagging every time I open the drawer. So I love the way it came out. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. Of course, do what works for you. If you have more teas than coffee, then, you know, put your teas here or get two of these. You know, there's some that have space for 12 different varieties of teas. Um, just kind of do what works for you. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I did not like how the, the honey um, sticks looked in here. Well, I like how they look, but it just wasn't enough space for it. Um, potentially, I might get kind of like a small, see if I can find a small container here for the honey sticks, but I actually like how they look up here. So this is what I did. I already have some brown sugar over here and then I added the honey sticks. I'll likely get a different container because I'm not sure if I like that container but it works for now um, and then they're right here. So get your hot water for your coffee tea right here. Open your drawer. Pick whatever you desire. Oh and if anybody's worried about other sugar that's what it's in here. So these are all functional as well. So I have some stevia packs in there. Um, so everything's functional. Then of course I have my sugar-free syrups over here that I love to use. Um, I might get a, another frother right now. This is the one I have right here, but I love how everything's coming along. Let me know what you guys think. It is a big difference. Let me do the before. Here's the after. Much better. Much, much better. Um, only other thing, so I also have like this large space here for all the um, extra coffee mugs that I have that I don't think is quite pretty enough <laughs> to go behind my glass cabinet but that I like for different reasons. Um, so they're all down there. And so I have some teas that kind of come kind of like this in tea bags but it's not like in a um, single serving casing. It kind of comes in a large bag like this and then you have the, the tea bag. So here's another example if I can get it out with one hand like this. I probably keep those in their larger case and um, once I get to organizing this space, I'll organize them down there. So that's it for this week, you guys. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I organize my coffee and teas. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a long time, so happy I did that. Um, I'm gonna be tackling the another drawer in my kitchen next, so you know, I gotta do my measurements and all that. And of course, I'll take you guys along for that ride as well. So I hope that you guys are getting some inspiration for organizing spaces in your home and knowing that you don't have to be so overwhelmed by it. You can just take one drawer at a time, literally one drawer at a time. And I also try to always give tips that are really affordable 
um, and you don't really even need all the storage bins either. You know, if you really want to have your K-cups and you don't want to have them in a wooden container, just sit them all upright in the same direction and it already elevates that space. It makes it look more organized. You can tell which K-cup is which. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. If you're not following my shop on LTK or my Amazon storefront, the links to those two are always in my description box. And as a reminder, please check out Rest Duvet and their ever cool cooling comforter because it's like a dream, you guys. It is amazing. Um, so yes, again, the link to check that out will be in my description box and you get 20% off if you click that link and you use the code Tiffany20. So make sure you use the code Tiffany20 and use that link in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.